It's like so. Uh, let me let me explain this. In the bottom bracket, these two were the finalists, right? Ooh. Netflix was winning, and then Zed abused uh, uh, an overpowered unit that we didn't balance perfectly yet, and won eighty dollars. Right? Oh, interesting. So this is so we got we got some we got some good we got some bad blood here, which makes for good games. I oh, love yeah. that. Hey, set uh, yeah, set yeah. Zed to yellow and Netflix to red, please. You got it. And then. We had a rematch after we fixed the bug. And then Zed bashed Netflix even worse. Oh, interesting, interesting. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, Netflix is going to want his revenge here. And uh, Netflix is no joke. Netflix is no joke. But Zed has been a beast lately. Wait, he just chose... Uh, Netflix just went random faction. Yeah, so they're both allied. Again, there's no, it doesn't matter, Germany, whatever, they're both allied. But he chose, he, cho he chose random faction. Yeah. He wanted to do a random faction. <laughs> I mean, so SFJ, all the factions are, are so good beaten. that, you know, you can just go random and <laughs> you happy. just pull one from the hat. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, well, all so. right. All right, so let's get into it here. Uh, again, this is SFJ. For those of you who have not heard us mention it 15 times, SFJ is a game mode uh, similar to Yuri's Revenge, except the fact that every building and every unit is basically completely different. So other than mildly <laughs> looking the same, it's basically a completely different game. Snark, would you say that's fair to say? <laughs> well, I mean, physics and logic work the same. Uh, the maps are similar. And uh, the, the, other than that, it's... Um... The graphics are similar, and the graphics are similar. The ore refineries are still the same. You need you need money to buy shit, so you need, I you mean... need an MCV to build stuff. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, but it is a uh, it is a um, much faster moving game here. So let's see what what both players right away uh, come out with. Pretty much a uh, very similar. Oh, so very far. similar, except uh, Zed went one minor and now Grizzlies. Uh, Netflix a little slow on that first minor, but Netflix's build is a little bit better. He's building down to the second level already. Uh, but Zed is coming across with his Grizzlies. He's going early, early, early pressure. Let's see how Netflix responds to this. Yep, so Zed coming in now. Uh, looks like a few Grizzlies headed in. Uh, and now um, Netflix out with his first uh, Grizzly to counter. Yeah, Netflix is uh, very, very slow on the get-go here. Good, good um, preventive pillbox there. Obviously saw the attack coming. We'll have another pillbox ready here in a second. Um, yeah, it comes out for both players. So Zed is switching up to tank destroyers now, uh, which counter Grizzlies. And trying to get a miner here. Netflix micros it away. And goes in with the tank destroyer. The pillbox, he should have enough to hold here. Yeah, and, and I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that. I mean... I think an early an early group like that, there's a lot of harassment you can kind of do, kind of keep the other player on their toes, maybe snipe a building, but rushing in like that, trying to hit a minor, uh, kind of a fool's errand. Um, I mean, accomplished obviously nothing, and I don't think he should have expected much more from that. But Netflix moving his MCV up to the top here to get that big gem patch. Um, I would have built down from the power plant to the bottom gem patch first, but. Uh... I don't know, guess he decided to move to the top jam patch there and get that early. Um, so Netflix with the Rocketeers here and uh, ground forces, they're more or less even. Uh, but they're not. Okay, so Zed is going back to defend. Sending IFE and a power drop to the MCB in the top left here. Oh, terrible tank control out of Ooh, Zed. Ooh, and that's rough from Zed. And, no, and only one IFV now out now uh, defensively. He's got a para drop AFK in the top left, but has to be on the home front uh, defending himself. Ooh, um, could he lose a miner? Doesn't lose the miner, saves the miner. All right, with the rocketeers here, that's a big problem. He's for rocket, Zed. and he can target. Yeah, so he drives right those IFVs right. Oh, he needs to target those IFVs. Yep, and so now no IFVs out. Uh, mm -hmm. Should be hitting the war factory, prevent the next IFV from coming out. Yep, there yeah, he goes. The power drop. Rocketeers take out the war factory. The para drop is going to take out and, and Zed GG. throws the G's. Yeah, good use of that para drop as well. Path, how you doing, man? Glad to have you here, buddy. Ooh. Good first game. Wow, that was fast. And I that's mean, why we do that's... best of seven. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Wow. All right, that was intense. Not really. Way too fast. Let's uh, see. Do we have a map request specifically? What are you in the mood for? 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, you, you know, I want the godfather of the game to pick the map, the maps that are going to give me the most fun and enjoyment in my life. <laughs> kind of a uh, tall order, to... but... Yeah, so in all SFJ series, this is usually the first map, just because SFJ has a brand new Navy uh, gameplay, which adds a lot of options, uh, Navy options. So let's see. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's run. Oh yeah, this was the first SFJ map I ever saw played, I think. RJR says, oh, when we were talking about the M the MCV building buildings, he said, what's the barracks do? It's a good question, RJR. The barracks actually launches nuclear missiles in SFJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends which faction. Um, uh, yeah, it depends. The uh, Soviet barracks launches nuclear missiles. The Allied barracks launches weather storms, right? RJR, come on, man. Didn't you hear my dramatic explanation? Uh, anyway, basically, SFJ, again, uh, I don't want to get too repetitive with this, but it's it's a mod for the existing game. It's a lot of units, a lot of buildings are different. There's new units, existing units have different uh, buffs and abilities, um, and everything's a little bit faster. There's a lot to it, but anyway, if you don't, you know, there's lots of games and stuff online and explanations and stuff. I have a YouTube video where we kind of walk through it a little bit slower and explain things. Definitely recommend checking out if you're not familiar because it's uh, it's the hot new uh, hot new thing on the block. All right, so uh, we've got Allied versus Allied here. So Netflix decides to make his first refinery out front. So, I mean, this is a uh, different philosophies, right? Do you want to get the dangerous ore first or the safe ore first? Dangerous ore you're exposed, but you know, then you have the safe ore for the later game. Naval Yard, early Naval Yard out for Netflix, while Zed, on the other hand, is uh, going for a War Factory. So he's going to go Eco probably first. Yeah, so just trying, Netflix... a War Factory, trying to push out a comm. I mean, yeah, because... I mean, normally you see very early air and very early navies, right, on this map? Yeah, yeah, so that's exactly what we're seeing out of Netflix. We've got Rocketeers, we've got the Destroyers. He's going to get that power plant in the center there, which is uh, unfortunate for him, for Zed. Uh, on the flip side, Zed is on five miners, while Netflix is on one map. So how long can Netflix keep this up? Yeah, and so and so in a position like this, obviously when you are, you know, when you get that far behind on your economy, every second the game goes on, you lose your advantage. So, uh, you know, Netflix is going to want to put some pressure on here, obviously. Yeah, so he is attacking the Orby yep. Finder in the center there. Zed sells it. Yep, yep yeah, uh, most, yeah, those two miners can just chrono away. Uh, again, the longer the game goes on, like you said, the better it is for Zed at the moment. Although Netflix, you know, getting all the goody 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 gems because yeah. he's got map control. Yeah, and that's the thing. SFJ. Has... It can turn. It can turn very quickly with the with the build speeds. I mean, you can change from a low economy to a bigger economy uh, very quickly. Zed now out with these Rocketeers being countered. Um, mm -hmm. RGR... Zed has two AFK miners in the center, just chilling there. Ooh, yeah, you can't have AFK miners early on. RJR, I'll get you that link to that YouTube video that that breaks down SFJ a little bit more. Andy, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, set out to the hospital as well, which means his Rocketeers will auto heal. Always a big advantage on a naval map where you're you're reliant on the Rocketeers, right? Yep. Netflix trying to go in here, do some damage. Ooh, and those Patriots zoning Zed's Rocketeers out. Very nice Patriots out of Netflix. And this is a good little yeah, this is a good little hot spot here because you know you want those gems, and he, Zed's able to get a decent amount of them, but having to sell two refineries in the process is not what you want. Yeah, and he's gonna lose his oil in the top right. Boom! Oh uh, yeah, he's in the top right. Ooh, and the cannon out. Oh yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah, so let's get a cannon, which is nice. But uh, Netflix's position is looking stronger and stronger by the moment. Zed is gonna return the favor and take the oil out in the bottom left. Um, and all of a sudden, Zed has the bigger navy here, and it's looking scary. GTI, thanks for the follow, man. Yep, he's gonna, yep, and he's gonna get that, the undeployed GIs, getting it done with their pistols. Ooh, gets the refinery out. I think this oil explosion will, oh, oh he's gonna he's run up, and that's the counter. He decided, I'm going to build a refinery oh, and run the GIs over. And he saves the oil, Oh Iver. my goodness. Deploy yeah, your goddamn GIs. Wow. <laughs> you hate to see that. Um, especially yeah. on this map, I mean, that's an expansion. That's a massive expansion is what that represents. Yeah, yeah, very, very true. Again, uh, deploying those GIs, he would have gotten that oil. He did not deploy them. Big, big, big battle in the center here. And, Lots. And it looks, and Zed being outbanked, but 
Netflix pulling out? Um, oh, because of that Grand Cannon. Yep. So able to yeah. find a bit of a haven in that Grand Cannon. But now Netflix comes out with a Joker, right? He's got robot tanks in the bottom left going down here. They're going to sneak around and do some serious damage here. I don't think Zed sees it. Yep, yep, so these robot tanks, and the robot tanks obviously great on a map like this, very agile, uh, amphibious units. Good to sneak around the backside. Uh, and what happened to Zed's Grand Cannon right here? Got destroyed? He, oh, okay, another Grand down. Cannon and now has the anti-air, so Zed's able locked up pretty good in the middle there, and I think Netflix- Except the robot tanks are coming yep, the in robot in the tanks. bottom. Yep, here come the robot tanks. Uh... What can they get done? Here they come. Hey, thanks for the raid, robot. guys. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry, the notification went away of who raided, but um, appreciate the raid. S G Catch TV. Oh, Catch TV. Thanks for the thanks for the raid, man. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, oh, robot the robot tanks are going to hit the get MCV. It? Can they get it? Can they oh, get it? Oh, retreat. What? Oh my if God. If you dive, you dive. But a huge army of rocketeers coming in here. What oh, are they going to okay. go for? So he's waiting for the. And now targeting oh, a miner. Wow. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about that target. What are we doing here, here boys? Netflix oh, sketch. Seems to be a little bit Just off. sketch. Oh, and, sketch. and all right. In the center, uh, Zed is in a strong position here, but I, I don't know what Netflix is doing. He's just chilling on the right uh, side here. Big naval battle in the oh, center. Oh, and, and yeah, and, and okay, and so Netflix. Netflix where is Netflix right now? Where is his screen? What is he doing? He's, it looks like his yeah. his army is not being uh, given the tender loving care they deserve. Uh, no. His naval army is not giving the tender loving care they deserve. Uh, now mm. back in with these robo tanks again. Going for the spy set, trying to make Zed go blind, but Zed wins the naval bat battle big time. Uh, and Zed will be able to defend his uh, his spy set here. Rocket is going in on the oil. In the meantime, Zed has won the naval battle. And so, Zed, uh, yeah, actually, absolutely commanding. And uh, now the strategy here is once you take the nave uh, the the water with your destroyers or. Uh, I mean, those ones. You, then up from there, you can build the aircraft carriers and start uh, more of an attack, I assume. Um, yeah, um, I mean, with these thin islands, usually you don't even need aircraft carriers. You could just reach most of the stuff from sea. But yeah, uh, as soon as you have naval control, your opponent is in big trouble. Right. We do have robot tanks here, but they're not going to be enough to counter these destroyers. No way. Oh, and Netflix. Netflix could get his rocketeers in here. There's no anti-air in this group uh, from Ooh. Zed. Um, oh, and point. there it comes. Oh, targets the anti-air with the robot tanks. That's a good move. Those rocketeers. Oh, but he doesn't get them. Oh. He doesn't get them. The rocketeers are dying so fast to these Aegis cruisers. Yep. And it looks like Zed has won. You win the naval battle on the naval map. You win the game. The weather storm, too little, too late. Yep. Oh, yeah, you're right. I see now that the islands are so small. Obviously, the ships can shoot right on. Um, yeah, Netflix in a very tight spot. I think that's going to bring it 1-1 one, one here. Um, Indeed, very. Uh, I, I, I don't. I mean, Zed played solid and all, but Netflix just had so many opportunities I, I think, that he just I think, threw away. Yep, a couple uh, by definition blunders, uh, massive moves that um, where a, a wrong decision was made and cost him uh, massively. I think. I think he had a chance to take that MCB, uh, certainly, and yeah, then he kind of yeah. he neglected his uh, army in the middle. Even if he would have lost in the middle. He could have done a lot more damage. Uh, Zed came out with a massive navy. Um, Zed just got some lots of AFK units in this uh, in this in this battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots of AFK units. But again, he's got the map control. He's in a very very strong position. He's about to make Netflix go completely blind by hitting that uh, spy set, and Netflix is blind. He cannot see anything. Um, wow. Wow, wow, so Zed just uh, laying siege on this main island here. We do have Black Eagles and Harriers in the bottom. Now, Black Eagles cost 2,000 each. Two of them will take out a War Factory. Four of them will take out an MCV. Yeah, but okay. And there Netflix it goes. Netflix just quit. So the score is 1-1. One, one. Beautiful, beautiful game there. All right, and all right. Really so we got 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Yeah, I think a couple a couple of missed opportunities, but uh, at the same time, Zed did a good job capitalizing. Um, wait, hold on a second. Someone in the chat, did I have... Wait, did my... Elmo, did my thing come up as Andy versus Zane? My title doesn't say Andy versus Zane. 
Huh. Anyway. All right. Uh, so we got one one. Um, Snark, grab that next map for us. All right. What are we in the mood for? What are we in the mood for? I say Snow Valley. Yeah, so uh, again, Zed. Oof. Oh, Zed does not like the map pick. <laughs> uh, Ivar, are there any vetoes? I mean, normally we do one veto. We'll give him one, yeah. Um, All right. Uh, interesting. So uh, the announcement said Zane versus Andy. That's my bad, guys. I wasn't trying to trick you. I wouldn't do that. Honestly, I might have thought of tricking you guys if I thought of it, but I I didn't even I'd never even considered doing that before. All right, so he vetoes uh uh what was it? <laughs> Snow Valley. He vetoes Snow Valley, and uh, Netflix is gonna stick to you random here, which is interesting. He gets Soviet, so we're gonna get an Allied versus Soviet matchup on Caverns of Siberia. Great, great classic map here. Sketch, sketch. thanks for the rating, man. Take care. See you soon. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we got Zed in the bottom left here, Allied versus Netflix in the top right here, who's Soviet. And, uh, really good game so far. Again, the score is 1-1, evenly matched. As I said, these two faced off in the finals. And, uh, Zed did take the 80 bucks home, so I assume he wants a bit of, uh, just a bit of, uh, compensation for that. Yep, yep, and that's why it's always fun when I message players trying to get matchups. I can always tell by the way someone responds. You know, usually I'm like, I'm like, hey, do you want to play Marco? And people are like, uh, like uh, you know, not obviously excited about it. But with this matchup, like both these players were very quick, like, yup, let's do it. And uh, that's always fun. You know, both players who feel like, um, you know, both players who are evenly matched, they want a piece of the other person. Um, always makes for some good games. Yeah, yeah, indeed. So Netflix with a tiny bit of. Uh, Sorry, Zed with a bit of anti-scouting here. Um, Netflix a little slow on his War Factory. Netflix? War Factory? Netflix? Netflix? Okay. C comes up pretty damn late. Uh, we've seen this in almost all the games where Zed gets a, like, Zed already got a minor out by the time he got his War Factory. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe microwing his scout a little bit more than he needs to. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Possibly. Maybe just misclicking or clicking late or uh, something like yeah. that. But uh, Zed is already on four minors, ladies and gentlemen. Netflix only now getting the third out. Um, and so now yeah. Zed, Zed out with the, the robot tanks, right? Yeah, he makes a robot center. That is to make robot tanks. Now, robot tanks do counter Tesla tanks, but they are weak versus rhinos. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, I feel like normally you see them, obviously, I mean, their original purpose, but even in this game type, I feel like you see them more on, obviously, maps where their agility and amphibious nature comes into play, but they are fast moving. Get some stuff yeah. done. MCV move here. Uh, yeah, we and are gonna run. Already? We will run some. Uh, we will run a King of the Nuke after this. We're gonna run a Frozen Ooh. Fun too. Can drones? Can drones go in robot tanks on the in the in yeah. the original? In the original, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize that. So uh, again, uh, Netflix with the rhinos, and now rhinos are very good versus robot tanks. So I'm not sure if Zed got confused what counters what, but. Uh, Netflix is fine here with uh, just the rhinos. Uh, but tank destroyers coming out for Zed, which uh, do counter rhinos. And Zed here on seven miners in a very, very nice position. Uh, multi engineer is not on. Um, Snark, why don't we see people NG rushing in SFJ? Because MCVs and War Factories are immune to engineers in SFJ. Ah, well, there you go. There you go, folks. The MCV and the War Factory cannot be engineered in SFJ. Everything else can be. Uh, those two cannot be. Yeah, that's. I think that's a decent way to deal with it. That's that's how they're running the. Uh, oh yeah, Paf. Sorry, I saw you mentioned that the World Series tournament. Yeah, it looks a lot. It looks like a lot of fun. That that's awesome. It's great to see uh, good players getting together. Big prize should be a lot of good games. Um, and there's a similar rule for that, right, Snark? Uh, the War Factories and MCVs cannot be engineered. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the Armageddon Tournament, the World Championship as well, they decided to implement the same rules uh, that SFJ has built in. 
Wait, am I calling it the wrong? It's called the World Series, right? Isn't it called the World Series? Uh, World Championship or Armageddon. Those are the two names it's been given so far. Wait, what? I made that up? You're lying. I swear it said World Series. World Series is a cool name. I guess I made that up. Um, Armageddon's a cool name too. All right. Uh, so no anti. Oh yes, he's got the, he's got the flak back there. Both players yeah, kind so of flak troopers. Time. Yeah, flak troopers again very very good in SFJ. Uh, almost every unit is useful in one situation or another in SFJ. There's no such unit that you build only in desperation, right? Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, Ooh, coming in here. There is a flak cannon behind that war factory. Sneaky little flak cannon, but Zed does have the hospital, which means that Rocketeers are going to be a pain in the neck to deal with. All right, that Desolator going to deal with that para drop in the top left here. And uh, nice. So Howitzers coming out. Howitzers do counter uh, tank destroyers. So very nice for Netflix here making the counter. And he also has the guard check out, which means that his unit will auto heal. Yeah, his, the auto uh, the auto heal the auto heal feature really kind of changes the game aspect of you know with your in and out missions. If you can hit and run and take damage without losing a ton of units, obviously that army can rest up and come back in again, um, which is not yeah. really a feature of the original game. You know, it's like once your army's weak, you have a weak army to deal with uh, almost well, always. Well, there's different ways of dealing with it in the real regular game, right? You can make a service depot, or you could make an NGIF. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't. I guess I mean like a big army down on the other end of the map. Like they don't usually run home and service depot all their tanks, but. Well, Marco does. <laughs> <laughs> and Marco's the best, so maybe that tells us something, huh? Maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah. So countering the paradrops very nicely, but his army has no anti-air next to it, so. Uh gonna get a bit of chip damage but again with the auto heal like yeah, you exactly. mentioned oh yeah that's a good point yeah it kind of takes away the chip damage yeah that's interesting uh sash uh after this we're just gonna do some ffas some five dollar free-for-alls we don't have any more matches for today yeah so netflix you know chilling camping uh zed on the other hand you know he's got gap generators up he's got bfs he's tech top he's uh, all over the place i'd like to see zed expand but uh, zed has had map control from the beginning now Netflix moving his MCV to the center or here for an expansion. Um, yeah, I mean, Zed is on three war factories. Netflix is only on two. We are getting a power drop right on top of the hospital. We'll see if he could snipe it. Osmonauts coming in to deal with these infantry, but they're not so good versus infantry. Rocketeers rushing oh, back Rocketeers. to deal with this. Yeah. Yeah, and so I, I don't, I mean... Netflix's economy is rolling pretty good, though. Nice diversified army, but... Apox coming out, which is nice. But these Black Eagles, right? We mentioned two of them will snipe a War Factory. Four of them will snipe an MCV. They cost 2,000 each, and they have taken off here. Uh, Netflix, where's your anti-air Netflix? All right, he's got a few flag tracks. Not enough, for sure. I think he looks like... Uh, that's... Oh, Oops. Black Eagles coming in. Black Eagles or coming not. out. Or not. Black Eagles changing their mind. Headed home. Don't yeah, love that. And uh, these cosmonauts are just so good versus uh, tanks that it's a very big problem. You really do need flag troopers as soon as uh, cosmonauts come on the field. We have a bodybuilder power drop in the top here, just harassing the miners a little bit. Did Zed just lose his MCV expansion, bottom right? Oh, I did not even see that split. Jeepers. All right, yeah, it looks like Zed lost All right, so Zed MCV. is out in MCV. So that's a good hit. That's, I mean, Netflix, Netflix needed a little something there to get a little momentum going, and that's nice. Um, I think you should be very happy about that. Oh, decent, uh, decent little hit from Zed on the backside there. Yeah, the Cosmonauts and Rocketeers zoom back to uh, deal with this little split here. Uh, let's see if they can do anything about it. Uh, Zed keeps sending his army straight to the center here, mostly made of BFs. Which is actually very good because uh, Netflix's army is mostly made out of howitzers. Ooh, gonna snipe the hospital? The yeah, flags, it's the hospital. The flags doing nice. some damage on the Rockies. Now where's... Yeah, the... well, those are Cosmonauts, not Rocketeers, but oh, yeah. Right. Um, So a bit of a campy game here, not something you usually see on SFJ. 
Yeah. That's a lot of BFs. A lot of BFs. A lot of BFs. And Netflix. Uh, Netflix, I'm not sure how it is the right way to go, although with such a big amount of them, if he micros correctly. Ooh, and that range just doing work here. Yeah, we yeah. had a little bit of a standoff, and now this is, I think, exactly what uh, Zed needed to push through. Yeah, Zed needs to go in, but he keeps backing off here. Uh, and, and chip damage does work on allies, right? They don't have a guard check. In the meantime, that split's still doing damage in Zed's base. Okay. Almost got the weather storm. Four shield saves it in the last so second. Finally, finally, he finally gets rid of that up. split. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so the allied. So wait, the allied yeah, can't build the auto repair uh, tank. No, no, they get a hospital. For ah, auto repair gotcha. Infantry. Okay, cool. That's interesting. All right. Now the apox coming in for a little backup. What do we think about these BF snark? What what can we do about them? Well, BFs are very powerful, and uh, you want Apox or Tesla tanks to deal with them, but uh, with that amount of howitzers, it's actually doing really good chip damage, and Zed isn't going in. He keeps trying to retreat, so the howitzers keep getting chip damage, which is very nice for Netflix. Lightning Storm comes down. Where do we think that's going to hit? Oh, right in the heart of it. Get Ooh. the lab, the guard check, wow. the war factory, the refinery, everything. Is that Lightning Storm on steroids? Is that doing more damage than normal? Oh, he just had everything grouped yeah. in one group. And no force shield. He should have known where it was going to hit. Yeah, right in the heart of it. Yep, could have seen that coming. Yep. So, uh, on the other hand, you know, Netflix has five war factories. He still has a guard check. He still has a radar, which means he's pumping out those Tesla tanks. Um, and Zed's position, which was looking super strong, all of a sudden not looking strong. What I don't like is that he's not using his eagles at all. You spent 2k on each of those, right? That's 4k right there. That's just chilling. Yeah, and he could just be staying busy with those things. I mean, uh, I mean, just keep sneaking them around the backside. Uh, yeah, Hotwire, sorry. Legend and, Legend and Snark just played right before this. Yeah, so uh, we've got uh, lightning rods uh, out for Netflix. Quite a bit of lightning rods. Trying to shake things up a little bit. Hotwire, what's the, the command? I'm a mod. I'll, I'll change the title if you want. Just to remind me, it's, it's exclamation mark set title? What is it? Um, or slash set title? There's a 15 second delay, so you gotta give him a second. I certainly don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, lightning rods coming in here. Quite a few IVs. Uh, should be able to... I don't know, that's a lot of lightning rods. They'll definitely be able to do something here. Question is what? Such Going for the weather storm. Uh, those rods are falling very quickly, can they? He's four shields of weather storm, which means that <laughs> Zed does not just save it. Huge engagement in the center here. But let's be honest, Netflix's army is now looking humongous yep. compared to Zed's puny I, little army. I know, I don't. I guess I haven't seen Zed. Did Zed fall behind on economy? It seems like uh, Netflix's yeah, army's continued to grow sense. and Zed's army's yeah, con yeah. continued to stay about the same. Brings in Boss a hand. Speed, couldn't expand, yeah. Right, right, yep. Gets, gets so, those uh, IFVs, gonna hit those, yep, the lightning rods, nice. The yes. engagement here in the center, Zed right. going in? Oh, and Ooh. a lot of red coming out of that cloud. Yeah, big, big, uh, big army for Netflix. So again, I think the tilting point of that game was when Netflix split off and just got sniped MCV. And that was it. From there on, he just chilled, built up, built up, built up, and won the game. Yep. Yep. Ah, all right. So anyway, Ivor, you could change the title now that we're out of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Wow. So the score is 2-1 for Netflix. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you that the past two series, Zed smashed Netflix. And uh, this might be Netflix's revenge. All right, Snark, how do I change the title? <laughs> Me, I, I, I know. I mean, you got Hotwire. Hotwire is a tech genius, man. He, Dude, he, like, I, wait, if he, I go he, slash title? No, that doesn't work. He said exclamation mark title or exclamation mark set title depends on what bot it is. <laughs> uh, do you even have a bot? <laughs> I do, yeah, I have a night bot. But I'm sure there's another it, way just it, to do it, it in streamline. He said, he said if there's no bot, then slash title potentially. 
No, nothing comes up for that. Well, I'm in. I know I'm in OBS, so I'm just not as familiar with it. The um, the OBS like with well, the first week on OBS. Um, hmm. Yeah, don't know. Interestingly enough, uh, I literally have never changed my title midstream. I've always had the first match listed. Um, so today's not the day we're changing it. Grab a new map and let's keep it rolling. Okay, this is half a joke, half serious. This is isolation. The preview is, uh, I don't know why it's its screwed over, but it's a huge naval map. <laughs> like Jay Norris said, it's meant for an eight-player free-for-all. Um, but I have been wanting to see a 1v1 SFJ on this. I don't know if... Uh, I can't see the map. Oh, yeah, I can't see it either. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be mean to these two guys because they've both smashed me so many times, you know. Finally, <laughs> I have the power I'm hosting a game. I love that. Yeah, from <laughs> Twitch. All right, all right. Everyone seems really committed on me changing this title. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As I said, I mean, both of these guys have, have destroyed me so many times. I think it's, uh, you know, if I'm hosting a game, Ivor gave me the keys to the castle. <laughs> Run with gonna... it, man. Run with it. Cultivate our yeah. entertainment. Jake Hart, <laughs> I'm going to keep, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do it on my phone here during this game. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Again, this is uh, an insane map. As I said, it's, it's designed for an eight-player free-for-all. Uh, uh, I'm putting this half as a meme, but I want to see what these players actually do. Um, yeah, so let's see. <laughs> anyway, so Naval is epic on SFJ, as we have seen. There's five billion expansion points on this map. Um... Uh, two-hour game, J Card says. Well, it's a 1v1. I don't think it's going to be a two-hour game. Tsunami is much better. <laughs> oh, God. They're going to hate me for this, Ivor, for the rest of my life. Sorry, come on, man. I was like, I'm focusing on... I got, I'm got. putting out fires on the home front. I trusted you on this one, man. <laughs> I mean, I thought they'd both know it and immediately say, no way, Vito, but, uh, I mean, they went for it, so it's, it's their own fault, right? Oh my god, I haven't even looked at this yet. This is so silly. What are we doing? <laughs> 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 oh, snark. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe but it, it should be interesting. It should be interesting. All right, J-Card, we got the title switch. All you guys, don't worry. You now know exactly what's going on. Uh, Adam, thanks for the $10 donation. I will figure out how to get linked at some point. Yeah, Ber Berg is like, the snark, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, come on, and a um, snark, especially, I mean, if we're, if we were, if this was like the, the bonus game versus legend, that's one thing. We got a competitive match here, snark. I'm gonna have to oh, dial there's back. a bonus game versus legend? No, your bonus game versus legend. When you already oh. lost the series and you got a bonus game that no one cared about. Oh. But this is a serious oh. match. These players are here for blood. All right. I'm going to have to dial yeah. back your power. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if they're here for blood, they're they're more than welcome to take it. And I think I think you're right. I think we're we're going to force uh we're going to force some we're going to force some fun plays out of these players. Uh helicopters coming out, engineers headed to their respective islands, which there are a tremendous amount of yeah, I, I did, uh, again, I like I like that Zed is already uh, sorry that Netflix is, has already a navy. I want to see him go in there, be aggressive, and uh, make this not a two-hour game, like J Card said. <clears throat> yep, I like that. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah. So uh, 
helis going out in all different kind of directions, trying to grab these islands. It's going to be a hard time keeping track of everything going on here. Yeah, give me a run for my money. Um, realistic. Oh, and there comes, oh, the weather storm out early. Like that. Interesting. So it looks like Zed is going to try and camp in weather storm. Is that uh, what he's doing? Camp in weather storm. Out, out. Oh, and there comes double naval yard, though. Ooh, so he's going to try and catch up quickly. Uh, he did get a, quite a bit of oils. I'm going to tell these guys um, at 15 minutes, the player with the most points gets the win. Okay, okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> uh, I, I will say that I... Uh, there we go. It, it is a Thursday night, Ivor, and, and I, I might have uh, started drinking early. I think you, I th you start, start drinking a little early, got a little ahead of yourself, overestimated the uh, mental fortitude. Well, well I mean, <laughs> it's 11.25 here at p.m., so it's not that early. <laughs> well, that's not that's not so bad. That's not as good of an excuse then. <laughs> Elmo, I'm glad you but, asked, uh... man. I, I got a foot mount. Glad you're appreciating it. Is is Bell like asking why why did we put them on this map? What is Bell asking? There's a lot well there's so many different whys that he could be asking about, it's hard to pin it down. <laughs> why uh why did I put a fifteen minute timer on? I, I get bored. That's really it. You know, almost <laughs> always the answer to the question of why are you doing best of fives? Why did you why are you making this or that? Just I get bored. <laughs> just, just like I just cannot sit here and watch these guys launch nukes at each other for two hours, um, <laughs> and you know, light a fire underneath them. It's a foot mouse, foot mouse Elmo. Uh, I use a foot mouse because I have tendonitis in both of my arms, and using a computer mouse hurts them. Yeah, so uh, Zed's navy looking pretty scary here. He's got shit ton of rocketeers, shit ton of destroyers. Uh, Netflix gonna try and snipe this oil here. Gonna lose his destroyers for that. Hope that was worth it. Yep, and let's see if Zed, let's see if Zed can get some out of this. Uh, head to that first mini naval base. Does he have some anti-air in this group? Yeah, he does. I think Zed could push right here. And why are we, why are we fighting in the dark? Why is this map so dark, Snark? What was the idea behind that? Um, um, well, clearly it's because if you calculate the triangular trigonometry of the movement of the solar system and the universe, it's only one clear option. <laughs> the weather storm in Netflix's base. The weather here. storm comes in. Uh, yeah, okay, so with the Rockies and the anti-air, um, did the Rockies get buffed or did the anti-air get nerfed? And I think it's a little well, bit of... Wait, the... Well, they both got buffed, actually. They both so. got buffed. So, compared to the old game, five Rockies versus one Flak, who, who's in a better position? The air uh, or the, deep, the defense? D probably the Rockies, probably. I mean, it's easier to micro with the Flak because you could just move away and it will shoot move. Right. But generally but speaking, probably generally the, speaking Rockies. the Rockies got a little bit of a, of a bump, right? Yeah, so it looks like Zed is going to take this uh, forward expansion off yep. of Netflix. Gonna take that expansion, pushing in now here. A lot of Rockies coming in. Uh, Netflix has got a nice little turtle here, but a uh, decent amount of IFVs, but one of those positions again where him preventing losing is not the same as him almost winning. <laughs> and I think he's yeah. gonna have a very difficult time getting out from here. Yeah, de definitely. Especially he lost his uh, spy set, right? He lost his visibility, so he's, uh, he's flying blind. That's pretty rough. He is making a little push here on the top left expansion. Um, yeah, gonna try and snipe some oils, maybe. And I think while that <laughs> while that army's away, I think Zed should be happy to throw that expansion to the wind and just kind of yep. crush out, stomp out the home base here. Definitely, definitely. So uh, Zed should be going in here, uh, cleaning up. He definitely can uh, at least get perfect naval control, and Netflix just quits. Okay, uh, okay. And that brings, us, that, that, hates me. that brings us to 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Indeed. So, um... 
Yeah, it was just a, a bit of me torturing them. You should have eaten those. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Snark, that was your opportunity. Now let's get let's get some nice competitive matches. Yeah, we got a nice a two two series, yeah. Snark. I want you to take your hands off the wheel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was my my little uh, yeah. torture there uh, that I felt these two players deserved. But uh, yeah, let's get back into it. So this is Andalusia, a new map uh, that actually entered QM, a very, very nice map here. Uh, you will see beautifully decorated, very competitive, lots of options. Uh, really, really a great, uh, great map. All right, we got 2-2, two, two, best of seven. Couple more, couple more games to go here. Uh... Let's see what uh, Netflix is coming with here. Okay, Netflix readies up. Random faction. Okay. So, again, a beautiful map here. Uh, it, this was actually made, the original one was made from a map competition that Berg hosted. Map making competition. Oh, yeah, I remember we, uh, I remember this map, I think. Yeah, we had this come up. This was in the QM pool, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it definitely was. So uh, beautiful map, and again, there's lots of options, especially in SFJ, right, where all factions have air, all factions have uh, floating units. Right. We're gonna see what uh, these players can do here. Now, this is the pre-captured version, so they get all their tech automatically. Don't need to worry about capturing them. And yeah, the score is two-two, so. <laughs> It's gonna be interesting. Netflix has been very nonchalant, hasn't he? Right? He's yeah, like, he's uh, not. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not as hungry as I'd like to see him be. And um, yeah, it will be interesting. Yeah, a map like this, you really can see the the agility advantage of those floating units, like you mentioned, uh, with all the sharp corners on the map and the water. Um, you can really get places quickly. So let's see. Yeah, uh, Zane and Andy had a match like a month or two ago, and. I think Zane busted out this map and everyone was confused about it. No, actually, I was thinking of a map where there was a little island with oil in the bottom left. I'm thinking of a different map. All right. Anyway. Yeah. So we've got uh, Netflix here in the top right. He's a Soviet player. We got uh, Zed in the top left here. He's already moving his MCV, so he's going for an early expansion, um, gobbling up all those gems early on while Netflix decides to make a refinery on the ore already early on. So Zed moves his MCV. No, so they both actually have a refinery on the ore. And Zed Zed moved, is Zed, yeah, Zed, yeah, Zed's moved his MCV. Or, or sorry, uh, Netflix is. Wait. Yeah, yeah Zed no, moved Zed, his Zed, MCV yep, to yep. expand already to the next ore patch, and robot tanks are coming out for Zed. Um, yeah, so you see Balf bullying me in chat as well, saying that my games versus Legends were very, very close. <laughs> <laughs> I think each um, one of those losses could have, well, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, Legend's a monster. There's no shame. There's no shame getting beat up by Legend. Yeah, I guess not. I guess not. And uh, so Neff is coming in here with a few rhinos. Uh, Zed has robot tanks to answer. And again, rhinos counter robot tanks. So I'm oh, not sure what these two players are thinking. He's going to go for the oils? Yeah, should hit these oils here, yeah. Nice. One dies, both die. And uh, Netflix has expanded to this uh, big plateau here in the front. This big... Uh, snipes the oils. Snipes the oils and out come the Tesla tanks. So Netflix grabs map control. Rocketeer in Netflix's base getting a nice scout on over there. Let's see what Netflix can do. Tank destroyers out for Zed. Hospital out for Zed as well, which means his Rocketeers are going to be tough. Uh, trying to hit the mech shop. So here's the interesting thing, Ivor. Right? There's the mech shop, right? Yeah. Then there's also the guard check, which auto heals. They stack. Oh, so if you get a mech shop, ah, so then your tanks are really healing. Yeah, then your tanks are healing even faster. Of course, Allied get the mech shop on this map as well, which means that his tanks are healing as well. But uh, don't think you don't want to make a guard check just because there's a mech shop. And uh, a bit of a face-off here. Okay, they're gonna go in. Oh wow! I don't. Okay, so robot tanks counter Tesla tanks. Uh... Yeah, decent little counters, but uh, both players. And I think you know it's interesting with these players and in this format, they they seem a little bit hesitant. You know, like in the traditional game, you have your tanks, you have your dogs, and you know if you're outstacked, you go in. If you're understacked, you don't. Mm -hmm. Whereas in this, yep. they, they, the players seem a little bit hesitant. Like they're almost not quite sure. 
you know, am I am I favored here or not? Uh, which makes sense because it's so much more nuanced to try to break down the all of your different units versus all of their different units. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely. Uh, I mean, that instinct you can develop pretty quickly in uh, Yuri's Revenge or Red Alert too. But in SFJ, it's much harder to develop that instinct. When is it a good idea to go in? When is it right. not a good idea to go in? Because it's, it's just so many more variables. Nice. So Netflix saw that those GIs were headed for the structure, so he targeted it before they reached it and uh, prevented that from happening. Ran over a civilian in the process. There's there's no need for that, but... Yeah. It just happens in warfare, cruel. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's war. That is war. What can you do? Right. So, uh, I mean, both players pretty, pretty well, you know, well off in economy here. Uh, Rocketeer's heading across the map here towards Netflix's base. There is a flat cannon hidden behind that war factory in the top. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, he didn't see that. That's going to do quick work of those. Uh, yeah, they just like, out. nope. It does have out, but he does have enough puddle. Yeah. Netflix, the, uh, the silo out from Netflix. Mm, I'm liking Netflix's position here, if I'm being honest, but prison tanks, they should move, they have huge range, they are such a good unit to have on top of everything else you have, and they are so good versus howitzers. So, uh, yeah, Netflix really worried about those Rocketeers, does get the guard check out, so now, as we said, the healing will stack, which means that his units will seriously heal now. Nice diverse armies here from both players. We got Apox, we got Howitzers, we got Tesla tanks, we got Rhinos, we've got robot tanks, we got tank destroyers, we got prison tanks, <laughs> and we've got BFs. <laughs> yep. I mean, I think I, you got to think Zed could push right now, right? Zed has to be favored. Uh, Zed Zed has a strong, strong army here for sure. We are getting a few uh, uh, bl lightning rods out from Netflix here. They're gonna. Go across the water and try to do something sneaky here. Uh, but yeah, Zed, Zed definitely has the favorite army at the moment. I don't know why he's out producing Netflix so bad, uh, but he is going to get the guard, sh the mech shop at the top here with those uh, lightning rods. And Zed trying to maneuver around Netflix here in the center. Oh, oh, bad tank control apps for Zed. Uh, Netflix does get the mech shop at the top left, but is now sleeping with those lightning rods. They're just chilling. Okay, now they're on the move. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to hit that spy step. step. Ooh, and, and that's devastating. Dead screen. It just Ooh, went it's super black. Busy. Where is the anti-air? Let's go. Yeah, so those cosmonauts are trying to take out these li uh, these lightning rods, but... Uh, oof. Wow, those lightning rods just uh, just cleaning up, man. Yep. And Zed, going in in the center. What's it going to be? Lots of flashing lights here. Zed with a much stronger army. He's got a but nice Zed has to do here. something. Because Zed's entire base is going to drop very quickly. He has to get some anti-air in his base. Yeah, he needs to get anti-air ASAP. He's not and even Netflix. Yeah, and the other Netflix is on the run, you know? It's not. It's too late for a base trade, though. He's got... It. Oh, where did the... Oh, so now he comes out with a little anti air, I guess. But yeah, he has the BF there and the Patriot. Oh, okay, so uh, that expansion had, so that's why he wasn't worried. That uh, that expansion had a little anti yeah. air. Oh, and a big, big, big engagement here in Netflix's base. Oh, yep. let's see who wins this. So, yeah, Lot not the best micro out of Zed, but still looks like he's going to come out on top. Yep, Zed's pulling and, out there. And, and, yeah, and Zed wins that. And the only option is to nuke his own base. Doesn't get it off. Okay. <laughs> uh, Aerodrop gonna hit that nuke in the top right. Uh, the lightning rod. Oh yeah, so the lightning rods. Yeah. So uh, Zed comes out on top there. The lightning rods trying desperately to do some damage here, but Netflix quits. So the score is three two for Zed. Um. Wow. Intense little game there. Intense little yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, that was, I mean, and that's, uh, and, and it's really, I mean, map to map and game to game, these players have, it's been interesting. They've taken very decisive turns, um, but he played that, he played, Zed played that very well. Indeed. All right, let's, Indeed. Um, all right, what's up for the next map? What do we know? Maybe put a, a good old classic one like Tour of Egypt. Oof. Yeah, Why this is the fight, previous oh, This fight crap. is like fireworks. That's what I was thinking too. It's kinda it's kinda fun. I like all the uh all the different colors that come up. 
All right, so this is match point for Zed. If Zed wins this, he wins the money. He takes it home. That's true. And this would be the third series in a row that he wins an SFJ versus Netflix. So, uh, a, and um, Netflix, I, yeah, I, I don't, I feel like Netflix, I feel like Netflix doesn't quite want it the way that I want him to want it. You know, um, I don't know. He doesn't, he's not playing like, he's not playing the way that, it, like that kind of caged animal feel that I like to see in a player. But, um, <laughs> I mean, the, I like to see in the kind of player who's lost two matches and is now down. But, um, he has played well. He's put up a couple, up a couple points around the board, certainly. Um, I think he does want to win this, so let's see what he pulls out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, Marco does have a point. Zed has been playing SFJ for quite a long time, and he put effort into learning the game. So Zed is, uh, is pretty scary on SFJ. Of course, we still haven't been able to find a player that could take down Marco himself in SFJ. Warrior's Revenge. Oh, you have Zed. Wait, has, have, have Marco and Woody, uh, Woody played? Woody? Woody? Uh, they play in QM here and there. I haven't seen a, an entire series of theirs yet. Yeah, I'll have to try to get that together. Yeah. So, uh, Netflix going for the rush. You know, going zero straight I rhinos. love it. And now we see that. That's mm -hmm. what I like to see. Get him on his heels. Make something happen. What are we going to do with it, though? You're here. You have rhinos. What are we doing? Let's go. Going for the minor. Trying to harass here. Uh, so Zed is up one minor. If he can hold this, he's going to be in a better position. Uh, and Netflix moving his MCV. He's going to go all in. Everything in with the kitchen sink. Or is he moving down to the expansion? No, he's going in. MCV fodder? Is that really what he's doing? No, he's going to oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the box and uh, sentry guns. But uh, ooh, all right. So this is like a... This is what you wanted to see, right, Ivor? That's what I wanted. I want that caged animal effect. That's exactly what I wanted from Netflix. Get him on his toes. Don't let him get comfortable. Try to steal that momentum with sheer brute force and confusion. Um, yeah, so right. sentry guns are starting to come up. The War Factory, if he loses this War Factory here, that's not good for Zed. That is horrible for Zed, actually. And uh, sentry guns are coming up a little bit slowly, yeah. but they are coming up. Sentry guns are, are half as good as pillboxes, but half the price in SFJ. Just give factions a little bit more diversity. Oh, and and, he, oh he pushes in with those. Ooh. Oh, and there we go. And we're going to round seven. <laughs> love that. Wow. Love that. Love that. So the score is 3-3, three, three, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. All right. What do we want to end it on? What do we want to end it on? Um... I feel like I'm missing quite a few maps. Must have gotten erased somewhere. Uh, Ivor, do you have a map you like? You want to end it on? Nope. I want. I trust your opinion full heartedly. Now that I've seen your opinion go wrong and I've corrected it, now I fully trust you. <laughs> okay. All uh, right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So let's uh, let's make it again. Let's go a little bit outside the box and make them go on the three v three version of jungle. I like that. I like that. Instead of the the four player jungle, the th six player jungle, just to see how these guys cope with a larger map, larger economy, and see what happens. See what happens. All right, Netflix, ready up. He's thinking. He's brainstorming. He's brainstorming. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and he's ready. It's like the time it takes him to get ready. Is he like just, you know, zoning out, or is he like planning, hey, planning? I don't. Everything is moving just a little bit slow with Netflix, but um, different strokes for different folks. He is three three, so I won't question the methods. <laughs> Indeed. So we got on the final matchup, Allied versus Allied here. And uh, let's see what happens. Zed is in the bottom left here. Netflix in the top right. Hmm. Match points for both players. Whoever wins this wins it all. And takes the money home. Yep. That's it, boys and girls. Game seven here. Uh, after this, we will be moving on to some FFAs. Uh, $5 FFAs, anyone who wants to hop in can hop in. Uh, just going to be a good old-fashioned good time. You know who we haven't had in our FFAs? Marco. 
Mark, you gotta get in these FFAs. You'll love them. It's <laughs> really it. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, Marco. Uh, it's also probably take home some money. Uh, some random game types, though, kind of keep players on their toes. But being an awesome player certainly helps. Um, Yeah, so uh, early, early move from uh, Zed here to get that uh, to the next gem patch, which is very close. Which is uh, an interesting move. I like it. I like it. Uh, Netflix going with a classic build here and moving. Okay, he's also moving, but after another refinery has been put down already. Yep, trying to push that economy a little bit. I, that's, I, I mean, I got to imagine that that move from Zed's a pretty nice look on this map, getting to those gems. But oh, okay, yeah. So Netflix right behind him on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last time I did FFA. <laughs> that's the problem with FFAs. Um, people do team up on each other. All right. So I assume that's a yes from Marco, right? I think that's a that yes. That sounded like a yes to me. Yeah, yeah, that, that definitely sounded like a yes to me. Sound like a yes to you, Ivor? I think so. Marco's in. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. Awesome. Frozen Fun, for those of you guys uh, who were here with us last week when you saw the issues a couple weeks ago, uh, Frozen Fun has dropped uh, the initial start spy sat, so we won't have people chronoing each other's miners in the first four seconds of the game. All right, Zed coming in with Rocketeers and IFEs here. He's going to try and get some damage done. Netflix does have quite an army of IFEs here to defend, so it's going to be interesting. Pillbox oh, comes good out. Pillbox. And uh, I think that Netflix can easily hold this, and yeah, Zed needs to back off here. So, uh, so much for that exciting attack. On the other hand, you know, uh, we do have Tank Destroyers coming out already for Zed. So Zed is taking the rhythm of the game into his hands here. He's going to decide what happens when it happens. Coming across the map with the tank destroyers again. Netflix uh, in a solid position, definitely not a weak position. We'll see if he can hold this. Yep, and both players' economy just uh, pretty much mirrored right now. Both similar expansions and and their money's rolling similarly. Uh, and yeah, Netflix is looking pretty good defensively. Combined with those pillboxes, Zed certainly does not have enough to move in. Um, but I like Zed keeping him on his toes, uh, being the aggressor. Yeah, yeah and uh, Zed does have a power drop. Going to get that. Uh... Yeah, that refinery in the top there. He does have a hospital, which means his Rocketeers are going to be tougher to deal with. Come, come on, Mark. You can't compare Ivor to EA Games. EA Games is like a bug compared to Ivor. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. I won't scam you, Marco. You win your, you win my $5 from me, I, I get you paid. 48 hours. PayPal, you cover the fees. I'll make it happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I like. I mean, now both players have been have been fully shaken awake, uh, and and I, I don't know. This is a, this is a really beautiful gameplay from both players. Yeah, it's uh, pretty pretty intense. What's going on here? Netflix with a huge army of rocketeers yeah. here, but no hospital. Zed does have a hospital, but uh, less rocketeers, smaller army, and uh, Netflix, you know, keeps expanding, keeps making refineries all over the place. Zed has an interesting build, building towards the top of there. So again, this is uh, why you shake it up, put the 3v3 version of jungle, Netflix is teched up. So he does have a battle lab. We see mirages coming out, which are very good versus tank destroyers, which is very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm worried about Zed. Uh, I'm worried about Zed's force here. He needs to... Uh... Yeah, so Pog Champ definitely means that Marco is in, right? Anyway, so... <laughs> All right, we are. We get a para drop here. Gonna get cleaned up by Zed very nicely. Second para drop coming in on top of the Rocketeers. Not the best, but uh, Netflix also doing a bit of damage with his Rocketeers here. That lone tank destroyer is like, why the hell did you send me out here alone? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> At least give me an IFV. Yeah, or something, right? Uh, but right, yeah, and, I mean. Yep, and uh, in this in this tug of war of a game right now, Netflix is taking a little bit of ground. I would like to see him push a little bit with his army. I think his uh, become the aggressor, uh, I think would be a good move here. He, uh, economically speaking, he is certainly up. I think this army is more diversified and stronger. I'd like to see him take some ground in the middle. Um, yeah, yeah, so a lot, a lot of mirages coming out for him. BF's coming out for uh, Zed. So this is where uh, Netflix needs to switch it up a little, maybe get some uh, some uh, prisms out. All right. 
So he is, like you said, he's taking map control. He's taking things into his yeah. own hands. Let's see what he can do here. Very interesting build out of these players. It's a uh, power drop in the top left. Might be able to get a miner, might not. Now Rocketeer sending up to deal with it. And um, yeah. I, again, Mark, you can't compare QM to FFAs. Hey, FFAs on. are like so much better, man. <laughs> wait, is uh, wait, Heck Freeze is Zane, right? Yeah, Heck Freeze is uh... Zane. I didn't give you five dollars, huh? That's interesting. Message me on Discord, cause I'll forget. But I feel like I thought I, huh? Anyway, message me. I'll give you the five dollars. I'm gonna go rewatch all the tape, though. <laughs> watch the four. I'm gonna rewatch the four-hour stream to make sure. All right, uh, Zed heading. Yeah, Marco, this is the the three v three version of Jungle of Vietnam. This is uh. Yeah. So wow, those Rocketeers doing so much damage on those miners. I think he lost one there. But uh, again, you know, a lot of these two players, the way they play, they just face off, face off, face off, face off, and then big battle, and then someone comes out on top. Yeah, yeah, it's um, interesting. We don't see a lot of we don't they don't really engage until they commit. You know, we don't um, we don't see a lot of yeah. minor scrimmages. Yeah, and again, the masters and SFJ are going to be people that play like Legend played, right? The way he uh, he kept uh, moving all over the place, splitting up, countering me, attacking me, destroying me. I'm not a good example, but uh, yeah. that's just the way to play SFJ. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we and we haven't really seen. Ah, uh, we've seen a, f a few splits, but it's certainly not a cornerstone of either player's strategy. It doesn't seem like. Yeah, no, not really, not really. A couple of Rockies so, going on missions, a couple Terra drops getting lucky, but. Yeah, so Netflix pushing in here, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, those Rocketeers camping. Okay, let's see. Uh, and he ooh. backed out. Brings the brings the miners in. Ooh, looks like Zed comes out way on top. But uh, I guess half of his army is miners, but the Rocketeer battle, uh, Zed won that, Ooh, and he has a crazy amount of Rocketeers. And Netflix, no no air support, uh, no air defense in that group. Uh... Yeah, so no air support at all. He needs IFEs ASAP, or he is done for. Uh, looks like Zed might win this again. Oh, those Rocketeers, there's just so many of them, Ivor. I know, they... It they... is insane. What What does he need to... Yeah, and just enough to pretty much stomp it out. Yeah, he had way yep. too many Rocketeers to be able yeah, to deal with that. Yeah, just didn't have enough, uh, didn't adjust, uh, you know, air defense enough, and, and Zed's, gonna, Zed's gonna take it. Zed takes it, GG, Zed calls it, and Netflix agrees, GG's. So it did go to game seven, it was match point, and Zed wins again versus Netflix. Yep. It's, uh, it's, it's, you know, after three times, you gotta ask yourself, is this a pattern already? Like, what's going on? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I didn't see the other one, so it'd be interesting to see if both players were adjusting or if they were just kind of smashing their heads into the brick wall and kept getting the same results. But uh, Netflix put up some good looks. It was, it was, a, it was a good, it was a close match. Um, yeah. Yeah, not too yeah. bad. Not too bad. That was that was good. Some good SFJ. Um, all right, I'm going to. Oh yeah, you can you can run this. Um, let's uh, let's do the new Frozen Fun first. Frozen Fun first. All right. You, you, so you have the new one. SFJ. Right? The password is one two three four five to anyone in chat that wants to join. Uh, Frozen Fun version two. All right. All right. So Marco, get your ass in here. Let's go. Ooh, we got Gene. We've got Nick. We got Gene. We got Nick. Let's go, boys. Marco, where are you, bro? Sash, Legends, Berg. Let's Cash. run it, guys. Let's run it. Let's go. Frozen fun. I like it. Frozen fun, boys and girls. For those of you who have seen it, obviously you are excited out of your minds. For those of you who oh, haven't seen it, you need to get excited out of your minds. Um, <laughs> uh, Frozen fun. They, there's a reason they.